Whenever we talk about Marsalem, we have to talk about diving and the treasures of its water or the marine life in general. Diving in Marsalem is so unique, especially that we have some wonderful spots for diving. Again, we have to say also that this is a virgin land and virgin area. How interesting it is when you are diving surrounded by some rare species of fish. Salam is very very interesting one of the most interesting activities that one can enjoy here and today I met Luke and he's the, going to be the best person to tell us more about diving in Marsalem right I hope so anyway yeah I hope I can so first of all before we talk about diving I want you to tell me about Marsalem first of all since when you are working here how do you feel about the place we would like to know more about it sure well uh, I came in as a diver I came from a holiday one time and I went to Port Gallup uh, when was it? That was in 2008. Okay. And I fell in love with the place. I'm the kind of person I like. Uh, I like to stay away from the big cities. I like peace and quiet. So I've been to Sharm el Sheikh. I've been to Hergada before, but I fell in love with. As a with vacation or diving? Uh, vacation, vacation, diving, vacation. Of course. Definitely. That's why I came to Egypt for the first time. You know, the Red Sea for me is is, is everything. So it is true that some people they come, uh, in particular, to Egypt just to dive. Only to dive. Yes. Only to dive. Yeah. Uh, can you tell us more about the percentage of people who only come to dive? For example, if we're talking about. I couldn't tell you the percentage of people. People nowadays that come for British people, for example. I, again, I can't tell you the percentage, but I can tell you that the tourism industry in, in in Egypt, certainly from a British point of view, certainly for the Red Sea, was founded on diving. You know, of course, people go to to Cairo and these places for the for the history, the the wonderful history on the Nile. But I know countless people who've been to Egypt ten times. In fact, I know a guy. He came out this year. It was his hundredth trip to Egypt, and he's never seen the pyramids because he only goes for diving. Yes. Really. So, let's continue. You came mm. as a diver. You moved on to around. Yep. I came as a diver. I came. I was already an instructor, and I was working in England. And uh, then I fell in love with Master Alam. I was already thinking, I want to travel somewhere warm, uh, nice climate. I love the Egyptian people. I love uh, Port Galib. I love Master Alam. So as soon as I saw that, I thought that's where I want to go. And uh, so yeah, I've been here for four and a half years now. Okay. In Marsalem? In Marsalem all the time, yeah. I've, I've visited other places, but Marsalem for me is where I want to stay and live. Let's move on to watch together uh, something about Marsalem, right? About yep. diving here, yep. and I think we'll be right back. Welcome back. And just after watching such beautiful treasures under the water, I would like to ask about those who would like to come to visit or to try to dive here in Mersalem just for the first time ever. Is there a chance for them? Absolutely. I mean, of course, everybody has to start somewhere, even me, all of, uh, all of my guys. Where we, did you start, for example? I started actually in a swimming pool in England, can you believe, and then, <laughs> then moved but on. This is normal, right? You have it to start in confined water? Usually you start, a lot of people start, especially their training inside a swimming pool. For those people that don't want to do that inside a swimming pool, then we can take people into the sea usually one-to-one. -one. So with, a, with an instructor we can go in one-to-one -one holding the person all the time. So if people are on holiday and they don't want to spend any time in a classroom or a swimming pool, we understand that and we have something for them in order to go and dive in the sea. Uh, but it, it, you know, it's, it's with someone very, very safe and, uh, and, and with a trained person. But to start to learn, to learn the, the skills that are necessary to dive with a bit more freedom, and that's what it's about. When you go underwater, you feel very free, you feel weightless like an astronaut. So of course then, you have to learn in the pool where it's nice and safe, and then bit by bit, 
you go into the sea a bit deeper, a bit deeper. And the more, the, the more times you dive, the better it becomes, the easier it becomes, and of course, the more stuff you see. Let me ask you about the intro course, for example. Mm. Tell us more about it. And what are the most important things that must be taken into consideration? For example, there are certain people who are not, for example, allowed to dive. There are. I mean, there is. There's always a few things with uh, with diving. It is a sport. That it's an activity. But of course, we can we can find that out. It's very easy to find out. And uh, some people they just need to check with a doctor before they come. Uh, some people they can sign themselves and say, No, I'm fine. But not to worry too much about that. The main things that we that we teach you uh, the most important things we teach you when it comes to the, the intro courses which can be two, three, two days three days four days something like that is just how to relax how to, to breathe properly how to feel weightless in the water how to have control in the water for the first time you know and uh, it's uh, it, it's a wonderful thing and it catches so many people what are the most important tips that uh, the most important tip is what is about buoyancy and buoyancy just means being able to control so that you can go absolutely weightless so that you can sink when you want to sink, that you can start to rise when you want to rise, and when you want to stop, you just stop. Like I said, like an astronaut. Just in the sea and there, you're doing it all with your breathing. So you imagine, you're relaxed, you're breathing, and you're motionless in the water, and you just got this wonderful show in front of you. It's amazing. Is there a certain age recommended or...? Uh... You have to be at least 10 years old and there's no limit. In fact, we had somebody out here, we had somebody out here in March this year and they were 72 years old when they first learned to dive. So there's no upper limit. If you feel good, then you can but dive. what about the child? 10 I... years old is the minimum. And okay, not every 10 year old is ready to learn to dive, yes. but some are, you know, some are. So those who are 10 years old who are very good, then perfect. And how many uh, lessons or uh, sessions do you need before you go? To get the full certificate, usually it's about four days. It's about four days. How many hours? So uh, it, it, uh, each, uh, each day about seven hours or so, something like that. That's like one day in the pool, one day for the classroom, okay, and then two days where you'll do four dives, okay, four actual. So part, half of that course is actually diving as well. I know there are some important signs that usually you teach them, right? Yeah, absolutely. The most important one for me was just like this, going up. This is going up. No, this, <laughs> this is... is this is the least important one. Going down is much better. Yes, because then you're me, going, going diving. Going down is the most important part. <laughs> no, okay, we, are, we have okay. Because I tried it before. Up and down. You tried it before and you yes, enjoyed and it? Yes, whenever I go down, just I make like this. Oh, no, no, no. I mean, of course, you know, diving, uh, y you know, you don't have to go very deep. Uh, so the, the color and everything is in the first five meters. So it's just fantastic to be down there. So you don't need to uh, think about it as something you must go deep. Or it's very, you know, a lot of the things it on the film. It's not important to be a good swimmer also, right? You have to be able to look after yourself swimming. It doesn't mean that you have to do anything, uh, you don't have to be a fantastic swimmer. You just need to be able to float and, uh, and swim 200 meters is what we ask for, but not in a time limit. So, so long as you're okay in the water, but you don't need to be uh, fantastic in any way. No, so long as you can look after yourself in the water by floating, swimming 200 meters, that's it. Talking about diving here in Masa Alam, we know that there are certain places that are very much interesting for diving. Could you tell us more about these places? Yes, we've got one of the most famous reefs in the, the whole of the Red Sea. We've got Elphinstone Reef, also called Abu Hamra, uh, and that is just... Could you tell us what makes each of these places special? Uh, this one is very special because it's an offshore reef. And when you look a lot of the, the coastline that we're diving in Egypt, certainly down here in the south, in this part is mostly on the coast, masses, inside the bays. Mm -hmm. Inside there, uh, very shallow and very, very nice. You find a lot of turtles and even the sea cow, the dugong. But Elphinstone Reef is offshore. And because of that, it sometimes it's, uh, it comes right up to the surface. So you're just in deep water. Can you imagine just the blue sea around you? And then this reef that just stands up. Uh, shaped like a cigar and you dive in there sometimes some strong currents we we usually go there not for your first dives you know this is something to I was come just going to ask you yeah. if it's recommended for beginners no this one is more of an advanced dive we have plenty of beginner sites around here but this one more for the advanced divers and they come for that they read about it before they come they read in the magazines and in the dive where is books. it located it's actually just I mean if you stand on top of the roof here you can see it you can see the boats out there it's about uh, about 20 kilometers away from here just off the coast and slightly south Okay. It's a fantastic reef. This is number one. This what is number is one second? around here. After that, the other thing people come here to see is the sea cow, the dugong. It's very, very unusual. There's not many dugongs in the Red Why Sea. Why unusual? It's a marine mammal, can you believe? And they call it a sea cow because it eats grass. So you find this, uh, this huge thing, it's about three meters, very wide and very, very, uh, very sedate. You find it breathing on the surface and then it goes down and just eats the seagrass. It's fantastic. You can get very close to it. It's a wonderful animal, very gentle.
always uh, or also recommended for beginners absolutely yeah this one you can see uh, some people they see it snorkeling some people they see it diving usually you find the dugong in about eight meters or shallower very very cool you know there are certain places that sometimes uh, people like it because they can go for diving just from the hotel just jump into the like for example uh, Dahab Absolutely. Yeah. Well, we can but do, what about Mersa Alam? We, we do the same here. I mean, you've just seen uh, the, the, the divers you interviewed before. They came out and dived our house reef. So here on, on, on spot in, uh, in this hotel, we have a house reef. It's called Abu Dabor. It's a very famous dive site. And uh, here, yeah, the people, the guests that are staying in the hotel, they come in the morning, they take a dive, they go to take lunch. Maybe uh, their partner's on the beach. Maybe they bring children with them, everything like that. It's very convenient. Even we take our boats from here as well. So we have... Uh, because, you know, in Sharm el you have to take the boat to go to Ras Muhammad for example yeah. and different places yeah. also in Hurghada yeah. but so here in Mars Alam just like Dahab we yeah. can move you can around. dive just on the shore we, yes. dive, we dive a lot on the shore here, absolutely, and yeah, it's so easy just to come from your hotel and, uh, and just dive, one dive in the morning, one in the afternoon, whatever you want to do. 